Let's talk about color, one of my favorite things. So we're gonna do some color charting. The first thing you're gonna do is make a giant square on your sketchbook. Then you're gonna mark down either three quarters of an inch or one inch going down across the side and then across the top as well. Then you're gonna use those measurements to make your grid. I did seven here because I have seven colors. I'm gonna start by painting my primary colors and then secondary colors across the top, plus white. As I paint, you can see how I use the, a flat brush and I'm using the sides of the brush to keep the edges nice and tidy. And I'm budding the colors kind of close to each other. If you don't have too much water, they're not going to bleed and I don't really want you to have too much water in these right now. So then you label the colors across the top and across the bottom in the same order. You're gonna combine the colors vertically and horizontally. So the first corner is red plus red. Down one, you can see red plus orange. Then the second square over is orange plus orange, so that's the pure color. Then you're gonna work across orange plus yellow, and then you can see it's gonna be orange plus green and orange plus blue, so it's going to get very neutral at that point, right? All the way over. Now in this case, I'm doing my whites last just so that they stay clean, or my tints. A tint is, you know, white, plus a color or a color plus white. As you're working, one thing to remember is to start with the lightest color and then add a little bit of the darker color. That way you're not gonna end up with too much paint. <laughs> so if you're using yellow, put some yellow down and then add a little bit of the other colors with it. And then when it comes to doing your tints with the whites, it's gonna be the same thing. So you can see that across the second row, I have like a really nice very set of variations of oranges or neutrals based on the orange. And then a variation of yellows in the third row or neutrals based on the yellow, especially when I get to the yellow and the violet because they're opposite colors. And I'm using my little tray there. Or you can use a paper plate or even a piece of paper for mixing because you're not using that much color. So you're just gonna work across the color, the grid, until you're finished with the whole chart. And one thing you're gonna find is some really nice variations of different colors as you work. So. You, the greens are here are amazing. The yellows are lovely as well. So we don't need to go out and buy a special brown paint. You're exploring how to create all these neutrals and variations of each of the colors. This is a really good exercise. Um, I like doing it because look at that green on the far left. It's just a wonderful forest green and that's green and violet. So you can see how you can make all these really wonderful colors as you're painting. And of course, here's our final piece with some really wonderful colors. You should really enjoy doing this. Um, try to be tidy, try to be neat, and enjoy making colors. One of my favorite things to do.